So this will be a sprite test between the Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus and the iPhone 10. Now I have submerged my Redmi 5 Plus in liquid before and it actually did fairly well when I did the speaker test on that video. The speakers actually worked perfectly fine and the iPhone actually did a lot worse than the Redmi 5 Plus which I found kind of surprising. So if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and link it somewhere. Um, so yeah, so I decided to go ahead and see how this phone will interact with some carbonated water such as some soda here, lemon lime soda, Sprite as you can see. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started with this. Pretty straightforward. Gonna go ahead and open this. Woo! Very nice. Okay, open this and open the other one. So how am I gonna do this? So we're gonna, I'm gonna submerge this for like three minutes or so. So here is my Pixel 2 XL. It's gonna be my timer phone. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just pour it in. I'm gonna see, how can I start the clock? and pour directly on the device. Woohoo! There you go. Very nice. See, 15 seconds into it. Put the lid on my bottle so I don't make a mess. Okay, put this to the side real fast. Here we go. Let's see, 30 seconds into it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right there. Move them around a little bit. So you can see, here we go. See, 55 seconds in. Okay. Move them around. Maybe give it a little bit of a shake. Here we go. Get some agitation going. Nice. Let's see. Go ahead and flip both over. Whoops. A little bit of a slip. There you go. And then move it around. Do the same thing. On this side of the device. Very nice. You can hear the carbonation. Here we go. Okay, flip it over again. Both are still alive from what I can see. Okay. All right, so we got a minute to go. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part of the video up. See you in a little bit. little over three minutes so I guess it's time to take the phones out so let's do just that and let's take these phones out let's take them out so I'm gonna do it like this because I don't want my tablecloth to get all wet and stuff so I'm gonna take them both out at the same time there we go for fairness Nice. Here we go. Clock is still running, so you can see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on my container so I don't create a mess. Keep things as dry as possible here. Go ahead and put this to the side. Get that out of the way. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and dry off both phones. Ok, 
Okay, and then the back should be dry. Okay, here we go. Dry the iPhone and the Xiaomi. You know, the Sprite smells kind of good. So if anything, this actually might be a good thing for both of these phones. Give it a little bit of a lemony scent. Nice and clean. Lemony limey. Lemon lime. Who doesn't like that? Okay, got some wet spots here on my cloth, tablecloth. Got to dry that off too. All right, so here we go. As you can see, clock is still running. Well, we don't really need this anymore. Put that to the side. Thank you, Pixel 2 XL. So here we go. So here's both phones. So we all know iPhone X, IP67, water and dust resistant. So I'm expecting this phone to be fine. Although in the last test, the speakers didn't do well, which I thought was kind of annoying. But let's find out on this phone. Go ahead and swipe up. Phone is kind of sticky from all the sugar in the soda. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Xiaomi first since I'm curious. This phone doesn't have any sort of waterproofing or anything. This is a budget device. Cost me under 200 USD. Pretty good phone for what it is. Very nice. But let's go ahead and check out the speakers. Let's see. This is my background music I always play on my channel. So let's see how the speakers perform. Sound pretty good. Let's see if I can jack up the volume. Okay, hold on a second. Why can't the volume go up? Here we go. Right. There we go. Jacked up all the way. Let's do that again. This is max volume. I'm going to put it right next to the mic. Sounds good to me. All right, now let's check out the iPhone X or iPhone 10. Okay, this is a max volume, I think. Let's check it out. Yep, max volume, and let's play. Whoa, sounds messed up again. I don't know, bro. I mean, again, this sounds messed up. Man, Apple. Hold on a second. Maybe you just gotta... Let me just... There you go. Maybe I just gotta shake it a little bit. Maybe gotta blow in the speaker, like the old school Nintendo games. Maybe that'll clear it up. Hold on. There we go, blue in it a little bit. There you go. Maybe you gotta give it the old school Nintendo treatment. Let me know in the comments if you're old enough and you know what the hell I'm talking about. So let's uh, do that again. Here we go. All right, so it sounds a little bit better right now. Okay, maybe I need to do that a little bit. All right. Put it right next to the mic. All right, there you go. And as far as just the screen, everything seems to be working fine. I'm swiping across, seems responsive, right? I'm gonna go ahead and click on the calendar and let's kind of scroll here a little bit. So, I mean, yeah, the screen works. I don't expect any problems with the screen. And let's see, what can I click on? Like the phone app? There we go. See, this works. So, what can I scroll on here? Uh, let's see, the calendar? Yeah, see? This is fine. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Yeah, the screen works fine on this. There's the notification bar. And obviously the navigation bar in the bottom networks. So yeah, 
the screen works and the sound now works a little bit better on the iPhone. Had to do a little bit of extra work to get the speaker to clear up. But yeah, so there you go. Just a quick little sprite test on these two phones. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought about this matchup. Thanks for watching. Peace out.